Good morning. I am outside Yellowstone National Park. Gonna team up with my friend Joey of My Own Frontier to do a pretty awesome route in the greater Yellowstone area over the next eight or nine days. Gonna meet up in Cook City, Montana and see which route we wanna do. Uh, we have several options. Uh, I'm really excited to see what Joey thinks we should do. Um, this is my first time in the Yellowstone area, uh, but Joey's been up here a ton of times. So he has a lot of experience and uh, he's gonna pick a route for us to do, you know, depending on weather and conditions. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be super exciting. Uh, we're gonna be in grizzly country and uh, we need to take some precautions. Uh, and be very aware of our surroundings. Um, so that should be awesome. Before we start our main trip, I'm just gonna take you around Yellowstone to see some of the sites. Maybe you run into some animals, see some waterfalls, you know, what the park has to offer. And then I'm gonna do a separate video for the main trip later on. Hope you enjoy this scenery from Yellowstone.
If there's a place in America where the odds of getting pulled out of your tent at night and eaten by a grizzly bear are slightly higher than everywhere else in America, it's right here in the North Fork. the Teton wilderness with my good friend Joey of uh, my own frontier uh, we're gonna head out and do an eight-day backpacking trip in the greater Yellowstone area really excited my first time out here and I got the best guide you can find no idea what I'm doing at all no <laughs> idea. so yeah we're gonna be out for eight days and uh, we're just gonna make the route as we go we have a car up at the east entrance of Yellowstone Eagle Creek just outside of the National Park. So that's where we're gonna end up in eight days. We're gonna be starting from the Turpin Meadows Trailhead, which is kind of uh, just outside of Grand Teton National Park. We're gonna be hiking through the Teton Wilderness, through the Washakie Wilderness. We don't really know exactly what our route's gonna be yet, but uh, we're gonna kind of create it as we go. And we're expecting to have a lot of vistas and views, it's gonna be up on some mountains. Uh, we are expecting to maybe see some wildlife. A lot of wildlife in this area. It's the, it's the wildest place in the lower 48 states. A lot of grizzly bears, black bears, moose, ton of elk, wolves, uh, just everything all the way down to wolverines. Uh, it is August hot. Don't know how much we're gonna see, but they're definitely here. Uh, gonna have some river crossings and just have a pretty fun wilderness experience. So let's go see what happens. Really looking forward to this. It's gonna be amazing to be in the greater Yellowstone area for the first time. It's gonna be an exciting trip. So uh, yeah, looking forward to it, man. Yeah. Awesome. Let's go see what happens. Yep. Finally in the Yellowstone area. hundred yards. These are the Grand Tetons. Pretty stunning.
first big meadows here. We're taking a break after the first five miles. And my first impression of this area is that it's just stunning. Beautiful meadows everywhere. Just green and lush and filled with flowers. So, love this, five miles in. What are you making there, Joey? I am uh, eating an avocado. Just gonna put it on a tortilla. Um, nutrition. Nutrition. Yeah, but Good. heavy. Heavy. So I gotta eat it first. Okay. Avocado with sriracha. That's how you do it. Then you can put a jalapeno pepper okay. right in the center. Mm -hmm. But I'm probably gonna save that for, I only have a few jalapenos. Okay. <laughs> That's a great burrito there. Look at all the colors here. Amazing flowers. Out here you can see Smokehouse Mountain in the distance. Keep heading up here to the north. Walking through some fire burn here. A lot of the woods in the Yellowstone area has burnt over the last 20 years. We have reached the fork in the trail and we're now gonna go up the north fork of the buffalo. This is where we leave the main highway, so to speak, and go out on our own. We reached the beautiful North Fork Falls and the sunlight is just hitting it right now. Stunning, crazy, wild. Let's go for a swim.
So we reached a crossing we have to do of the North Fork and Joe is just getting out there and I'm following him. It's pretty cold. It's not very swift and right here the rocks are not very slippery so you know. I think we found our camp. This is the spot Joey had in mind. There is a bear box in here. Looks awesome. Home sweet home. What do you think of this, Joey? I can't tell if this is the one I camped in or not. I mean, it kind of looks, it's way more souped up now. I think this is that outfit. So here's our camp for night one. We're camped just above these meadows here. We're by an outfitter's camp that's not in use at the moment. Um, it looks like it's being prepared for use, so we'll go very careful here and just keep out of the way and and uh, leave it as we found it. Joey got the fire going here. It's quite windy. Here's Joey's food. Minus the snack he ate today. And here's my food. Not much to it. Some snacks here. Coffee. Lunch. And dinners. Joey, what are you making there? Uh, I'm cooking some brats. We actually found this little grill here. Jarl found it. So, uh, yeah, it's what's for dinner. All right, it's day two. Looking out my tent. Slept like a baby here. I was sure I was going to keep waking up because of sounds and, you know, grizzlies around, but... 
slept like a baby. That was really nice. It's a beautiful morning. Clear skies. No wind at the moment. Gonna get some coffee going now. had a beautiful morning we're gonna pack up our gear and start heading out we're gonna go find tri-county lake we have started day two leaving our camp site here heading out on new adventures Here's our first pile of bear scat. So, gotta watch out. It's beautiful here. So pretty here with all the flowers. Another waterfall. Very cool. Pretty cool. Just look at this, incredible beauty. Later today, we're gonna try to get over here and around here and up. We made it over the rim. Let's see what's in store for us. We're approaching Tri-County Lake. It's supposed to be very pretty. Can't wait to see it. Yep. We have reached Tri-County Lake.
Tri-County Lake in the high country of Wyoming. We're at a little bit over 10,000 feet. And this is pretty. I can only imagine all the waterfalls that might be coming down from the snow here earlier in the season. It's pretty dry now, so there's no waterfalls, but I think there might be some great ones when there's more snow up on the ridge. Very pretty. We're heading for that snow covered ridge up there. So we're gonna get into that valley and find a way up to the left there. Or to the very right. It's stunning out here. Absolutely beautiful. Really in the high country now. It's wildflower heaven out here. It's just blooming in all different colors. Up in the high country. We came up from here earlier today. Wow. <laughs> I thought we were cliffed out for a moment there, but you were just looking at the beauty. Joey's putting on a band-aid. And we're taking in the views. Just spectacular out here. We're gonna walk across here and follow the this side here. Way out there you can see the Grand Tetons. That's pretty cool.
we're in some of the finest landscapes I've ever been in. This is Greater Yellowstone, Teton Wilderness. So amazing. Oh. Look at that elk up there. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh! Ooh! You see him, Joey? He's clearly on top of the ridge line. Oh! Woo! That's pretty amazing. This is so crazy. I'm absolutely stunned and stoked about this nature out here. So amazing. We're in the high country and just communicating with an elk and the scenery is just beyond belief. All right, so we have reached the Continental Divide and now we're gonna head up this way. Gonna stay on the Continental Divide for a while. So awesome. Looking east now, over the Continental Divide. West towards the Tetons. We reached the top of this unnamed peak at ten thousand seven hundred and thirty three feet. It's amazing up here. Out there, the highest peak to the left is Jan's Peak. And we're gonna head up this high one, high plateau right here. Awesome, boys. We're right on the Continental Divide up here. No trails.
here's the route we're doing. We're gonna stay in the high country over here, get over towards Jan's Peak, to the headwaters of the Yellowstone and the thoroughfare. Just follow high country, probably. Oh man, look at what we got to the south here. That's pretty incredible. And here we got Donald Duck. No copyright infringement intended. Here's some new views. We have to cross that saddle there in the middle and be up on the ridge on the other side of that crater there. We came from up here, we're gonna continue on this ridge, but down here there's actually a trail that crosses this pass and goes down in this drainage here and up that pass. But we want to be on top of the ridge. Pretty cool ridge walk here. So this is the upper section of Woodard Canyon. Pretty amazing. So pretty. What a day it's been hiking. We're not done yet. Still following the Continental Divide, it's really cool.
We're looking for a way down to Fairy Lake. We're getting close to Fairy Lake where we're gonna camp. Fairy Lake is out here in this basin. Can't wait to get to camp now. Here's the first look of Fairy Lake. Looking to camp there as soon as possible. Pretty awesome. So we came down off this ridge here. Uh, somewhere to the left out there uh, We were planning to maybe come down to the right and it looks like that would have worked too would have saved us some time But what a cool day We have reached camp, nobody here, so that's good. Got some cool views here into the valley below. Awesome. Right behind our camp spots, we have this It's 8.33 p.m. and we're waiting for this storm to come in and... Oh, did you see that lightning? That was crazy. Yeah, we've been waiting for this storm to come in and hit us for a while now. It's a beautiful morning. All the clouds are gone. The sun is just peeking up. Day three. Here's where we set up our tents. We're leaving camp on day three at Fairy Lake. Beautiful morning. Good thing your camera doesn't pick up snow. <laughs> Beautiful waterfall up here. One of many. Out here in the distance, you can see Wall Mountain. That's a huge, huge plateau up there.
heading up towards Marston Pass. Shouldn't be far now. So we're at the Marston Pass area and now we're gonna start heading into some mountains again. Over here through the gap that is actually Marston Pass, you can see Wall Mountain. Pretty incredible. Here's the other side of Marston Pass. Pretty stunning. Amazing views. With Marston Creek and Wall Mountain, the background. So we came up here, Marston Pass is just beyond Joey there, and here you can look over to the Buffalo Plateau, Marston Pass, Wall Mountain out there, Marston Creek beyond Joey there. Just spectacular scenery. And we're gonna keep heading into that green valley there. Make a lift. We're in the high, high country and the flowers are blooming everywhere. So beautiful. Oh my, wow. This is awesome. We're now on the Continental Divide again. We have made it to the headwaters of Yellowstone River. Starts right up in here. This is how it looks like here, and this is what it looks like down in Yellowstone National Park. Quite a difference. Over here you have Yount's Peak. The Yellowstone River goes down here, down, 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 and circles into the park. Way in the distance there, you can see actually Grand Teton and also Jay Mountain that we were on top of yesterday, where we took a long break. So cool. Up here is Thoroughfare Mountain. It's kind of ironic since this is the headwaters of the Yellowstone River, but the headwaters of Thoroughfare Creek is on the other side of the mountain. We'll be seeing that later on this trip. So now we're gonna make our way above the headwaters over that saddle up there and drop down on the other side. We're at the headwaters of the mighty Yellowstone. Everything here is gonna flow all the way 
to the Atlantic Ocean. Um, and uh, that's pretty cool. It's a really beautiful spot. A lot of bears up in here. So we're going to keep our eyes peeled. Hopefully see one. Great day. It's a great day to be alive. Great day to be alive. Joey's getting water from the headwaters of Yellowstone River. The mighty Yellowstone. The mighty Yellowstone. If there's a place in America where the odds of getting pulled out of your tent at night and eaten by a grizzly bear are slightly higher than everywhere else in America, it's right here in the North Fork.
And wow, we made it over the saddle. Joey is passing right under Yount's Peak here. And we're heading into the valley. Incredible place. Plan is to camp down here at the bottom. This is up on Thoroughfare Mountain. Pretty cool formations. It becomes very paradisey in here. We found camp after a great day. Thanks for taking me out on this, Joey. Uh, I, this is awesome. I've been following Jarl this whole time. Thank you, buddy. This is impressive. It's a wild North Fork. I was telling Jarl earlier, if there's a place in America where the odds of getting pulled out of your tent at night and eaten by a grizzly bear are slightly higher than everywhere else in America, it's right here in the North Fork. Sleep well, my friend. Sleep well. <laughs> North Fork of the Yellowstone River. North Fork of the mighty Yellowstone. Yes, exactly. Well, thanks for that, Joey. Now I'm going to sleep really well. <laughs> Tuna time. Let's go ahead and get the sense going. Back in the we found this pretty awesome spot to set up our tents. And we're going to be... Setting up here between those two logs here, the fallen logs. Pretty sweet view all around us. Good to have a little protection here in grizzly country. Just stunning meadows in front of us. Flowers, there's the pass we came over earlier today. We've got this cool peak in front of us. Loving this. Joey is figuring out his tent. Every day he's figuring out his tent. Oh. <laughs> it's just all about like where to set the head. You got to figure out the slope and it, you would think it's easy to figure out, but it can be like deceiving sometimes. But I'm pretty sure that up is that way. It looks like it, definitely. There's a pass. We have set up our tents here. 
probably 150 yards from where we made our place to eat. Pretty amazing spot. Under the pass we came down and Thoroughfare Mountain up there. This is just below our camp. Beautiful light. So Joey, what can you tell me about the place we're in now? Well, in the rare chance that you do actually get pulled out of your tent and attacked tonight by a bear, uh, we're, we're a long ways away from hell. We're a long ways away from anywhere. Uh, it would be I'd have to sit here and think about which way to run to go get help. It's, uh, we're out here. You know, the thoroughfare cabin in southeast Yellowstone is supposedly the most remote spot in the lower 48 states. I don't know how true that is, but, um, I mean, we're like 15 miles. We're a full day away just to get down to that remote, most remote patrol cabin. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's try not to get injured out here, bitten by bears or anything else, because... Uh, no spot device out here. We're on our own. And uh, <laughs> there's... We're just out here. I don't even know what else to say. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I've been in the sun all day. It's beautiful. Love it. Um, feels wild. Definitely feels wild. Good day. Awesome. Great. It's the morning of day four and we've been having rain on and off this morning since around five, I think. I think it's getting close to eight now. And the skies are kind of clearing. This is how we store our food and smellables out here in Ursax. We're gonna leave the Yellowstone River here, North Fork, and climb up here somewhere and go over to Thoroughfare Creek. We're climbing up in here, just following some game trails, trying to get to the top of the ridge. It's exhausting work coming up here. But the views are smashing. We made it through the worst climbing or scrambling. More elk. They're climbing over the cliffs here. Whole group.
Out here is Yount's Peak with the pass we came over yesterday. Okay, we have hit the top of the ridge. We're now looking into Thoroughfare Creek. some pretty steep stuff here going down to reach this gap down here. Pretty cool basin in here. So we came down this here pretty steep and loose rock and not very sure footing. So we're heading down here, Joey? gnarly and very slippery trails down here hard to get a hard to get a good footing this is some sketchy stuff here above this drop we're down in the thoroughfare creek drainage. We come down up in the canyon here. It's a pretty gnarly spots in there with a lot of slippery loose gravel and rocks. It started raining, looking up at parts of the headwaters of thoroughfare creek. We have been bushwhacking for a while and looks like we're close to getting out into the open. We're still trying to find our way along the river or creek. So Okay. And now See, the back end of the storm. It's raining the hardest all the lightning. It's how it happens here. It's always the end of the storm where you feel it hard. It's actually a little bit of hail in it now. Snow actually. August weather in Greater Yellowstone. What's that thing you're on there? The brown. The brown stripe there. Oh, not in your pants. I mean, in front of you. Is it a trail? Do I see a trail? <laughs> Oh, and we got a little bit of sunshine. And we're popping out into the meadows just as the sun appears again. How cool is that? We're in the thoroughfare. Around the headwaters of Thoroughfare Creek. My first time in here. 
Joey's been here a lot. Making bears aware that we're in the area. So here we have a grizzly bear track and a wolf track. And as I pull this back, this is actually a fire ring in a campsite right here on the Thoroughfare Creek Trail. Welcome to the jungle. Thoroughfare Creek itself, we're essentially at its headwaters and it's gonna run all the way down and enter Yellowstone National Park. And right as it enters Yellowstone National Park, that's where it joins the Yellowstone River. And that's what most people refer to, I guess, as thoroughfare. I don't know, it's just call it whatever. We're in the thoroughfare from here the rest of the day. We're back on trail in Thoroughfare Creek. We're sheltering from another storm. Okay, wind and hail is going to be lightning. So we've got the wind. We already know it's lightning. If it doesn't hail, we're good. So we got this storm here hitting us right now. But look over here. It's all blue. We're crossing Thoroughfare Creek. So the storm's passed and we got sunshine. Not bad. Beautiful out here. Still a little bit of a storm up there though. Well, we got another storm coming for us. It's raining and the sun is shining. Another storm coming out from the same area that our previous storms today. Kind of beautiful. Gonna start looking for a camp here as the third thunderstorm hits us. Kind of over thunderstorms right now. So we found this beautiful spot to set up camp. You can see where we came down. Uh, we walked from somewhere beyond those mountains that have now beautiful lights on them. Looking down on Thoroughfare Creek here. And up on another thunderstorm building. Let's hope it stays away. Pretty awesome camp here, right on the edge here, overlooking Thoroughfare Creek. Looks 
So Mr. Food Man, Joey Coconado, is making his food here overlooking the beautiful Thoroughfare Creek with beautiful light in the background. Can it be better? Yeah. Anything that could be better, Joe? Uh, no. It's a great day. Yeah. Great spot. Look at these lights here. It's day five uh, in Thoroughfare Creek. We're just slowly drying off our stuff from condensation through the night. Then we're gonna start hiking again. Beautiful day out here. Here's a better look at Thoroughfare Creek. See, there's a bear track right there. They're all over the place now and they're on top of We're just following these grizzly tracks down Thoroughfare Creek. They look pretty fresh. So it's gonna be exciting to see if we run into the bear. So it looks like we're leaving Thoroughfare Creek and going up Open Creek. Looking up Open Creek, up there you can see Overlook Mountain, where we will be close to and try to find a route under tomorrow. We're going up the open creek drainage. It's really opening up here. You can see Overlook Mountain to the left of Joey, way in the distance there. What just happened, Joey? Oh, uh, uh, I believe we just had a bear wolf at us twice as we were kind of walking up along these trees right here. I heard something loud the first time stopped and that's the second time it was pretty unmistakable gonna cross here Big crossing. Big crossing. Huge crossing. We found a hunter's camp here. They got this scaffolding up here. Thinking it's probably to hang. Hang elk. Hang elk. That's been hunted. See they have these slick 
things along the poles here so that bears can't climb it or other animals. We're taking a little break here. So pretty out here. We're at the fork of Silvertip and Open Creek. We found a place to call camp here in Open Creek. Surrounded by these mountains. And this is the direction we're heading tomorrow. Climbing up there tomorrow somewhere, going over Rampart Pass or climbing over towards Overlook Mountain. Did I give you your lighter back? Yeah, here, here, here. Thank you. First time out here, Joey. What do you think? awesome it's beautiful it's wild good choice good choice Yara. good choice <laughs> good morning it's uh, day number six we're deep, deep, deep in the wild wilderness here. Haven't seen anyone for six days. Uh, deep in grizzly territory. Uh, despite that, I'm sleeping really well. Haven't heard too many weird sounds during the night either. Wake up every night a few times maybe, hearing a branch snap or something. Despite that, it's pretty peaceful out here. Haven't been bothered too much by sounds. It's cold though at night. Uh, this previous night it got really cold. I had ice on some of my stuff in my vestibule and also ice on stuff outside the tent. But it's a beautiful day, sky's blue, and we have new beautiful stuff to explore. So can't wait to see some more of this amazing place. We have started walking for Day number six, we're gonna head up towards Rampart Pass and look into the glacier basin. And we have three route possibilities from there. So we'll see when we get up there. The pass should be up there somewhere below Overlook Mountain, which is the one with snow on it up there. Pretty wild out here.
we've gotten ourselves into some bushwhacking here again. A lot of blowdowns. This looks like it's from an avalanche. This is where we're trying to get to. Up on top here. We have lost any sense of trail now and we're just following the drainage up to where the map says there should be a trail. And we just popped into this amazing place here. Wow, this is gorgeous. Look at this. Wow. Such beauty. Up here is Overlook Mountain. We could probably not see the peak from here. But that's the mountain we've been looking at for days now. And 
we're gonna climb up to the right of that waterfall there, up and over the pass. Look at the cliffs here. Looks like the Devil's Post pile in the Mammoth area. Finally we find the trail, we come quite a ways up now, here's Overlook Mountain in all its glory and looking over from, over from where we came, look at the views. Top of the pass, reveal moment. Whew. Man, that is something. We have a sketch part this way, it looks like. That could be interesting. We're coming, gonna come out down there in the gap. I guess we weren't quite at the top, so we're gonna continue up here. Out here beyond Open Creek, you can see the thoroughfare behind that dark ridge there going up behind the mountains and all the way back in here you can see Thoroughfare Mountain to the left and Yount's Peak to the right. That's the gap we came through on day, th on day three. Way out there. Overlook Mountain. Okay, I'm leaving this side of the divide. Rampart Pass is over here behind this closest wall.
Rampart Valley or Rampart Creek down there. And this is us. Wow. Man. Glacier Basin here. Wow. So what do you think, Joey? Yeah, it switches back by behind us here. Ooh, sorry. Woo! There's a crack here. I don't want to get out on that. <laughs> See this crack? Whoo! Oh man. This is something. Look at this cool camel here. I'll name this 
Camel Mountain. Camel Butte, that seems more like it. We're in Glacier Basin. Pretty spectacular walls up here. We came down from up here. Pretty cool descent. Such epicness. Look at this beautiful basin here. Kind of reminds me of Glacier National Park, even though I've never been there. Look at the claw marks here. Looks like a bear or something just tore all the bark off this tree here. We're back into bushwhacking down Rampart Creek. It's pretty awesome in here. Rampart Creek. We don't even have a trail, do we, at the moment? No trail. Surrounded by brush, trees that have been ripped apart by grizzly bears, bear shit everywhere, no trail. Yeah, we're not done with our adventure. It's rain on us. Yep. It's good times. <laughs> it's great times, yeah, this is awesome. What do you think of that pass we came over today? Pass is great. Yeah, it was, uh, it's hard climbing up it. It went up like 2,000 feet, just straight up. But uh, it was worth it. Yeah, great views. <laughs> great day, all day. Yeah. Amazing. So this is what we're dealing with here. Just bushwhacking. No trail. Although it's on the map, but what? look what Joey found. Cut log, that's always a good sign. Means somebody at some point maintained this trail. That's a cut log from the 40s. Yes, exactly. The 40s is better than nothing, for sure. 
How's it looking, Joey? Is that a squirrel? Yeah, let's do it. Huh? It's probably a camp or a fire in some room here. We just gotta figure out a way to get down. It's not as like straightforward. Oh, that. yeah, yeah. Exactly. We have camp set up after an amazing day. A lot of experiences and amazing stuff today. Camp just by the Rampart Creek. And the sun is about to go down. What do you think of today's hike, Joey? Uh, it was great, really, from start to finish. The finish we didn't see coming. It, made it more exciting but um i just love the meadows starting off today open creek is beautiful that entire hike and then we got to those big open meadows with the waterfalls i wanted to camp there yarl made me go on and uh then the views from the top are awesome we had great weather and uh it's a beautiful day out here great day awesome how, how do you feel about the wildness factor right now? We're at a level 10. This is definitely a level 10. This is uh, the heart of the Absorcas. And we're off trail, or, or we're on a trail that hasn't been maintained since World War II. And so, um, bear sign everywhere. That yeah, feels wild, but it's just it's what makes it exciting. We have started day seven and we're bushwhacking again, trying to find a rut or a trail. Could be a long day of bushwhacking. First open stretch in this Rampart Creek drainage. So, just gonna enjoy that. A lot of stuff to deal with today. Still going down Rampart Creek. We're taking a break here by Rampart Creek. We haven't seen traces of other humans up here at all. So I think we're Bear Scat 14, Humans 0. Pretty exciting. Great day.
Everything here is a little bit sketch. The valley is opening up here, several forks coming in and we might be hoping for swifter and easier passage, who knows. We got fresh uh, log cuts, which is a great sign. It's the first time we've seen anything fresh. We think we might be back on trail. Jarl says we're back on trail. I think I feel like we're back on trail. Right. Freshly cut logs. We finally found a maintained trail and we love it. We think we're about halfway down Rampart Creek towards the road where our trip ends. Pretty cool in here. We're starting to see the end of our trip here. That ridge of mountains in the background there should be close to where we end. Beautiful area. Look at that arch up there. That's pretty cool. Starting to feel a lot like Utah here now. Pretty extraordinary. Like we're in the Grand Canyon or something. Which is in Arizona, of course, but you know. We're in the Wild West here. Make no mistake about it. Absolutely awesome. Look at the awesome double arches up here. So cool. Extraordinary.
It's actually a triple arch up there. We have reached the wilderness boundary. We found a pretty sweet spot to set up for our last camp. Got some beautiful views here and it's peaceful and quiet and we got water. Beautiful afternoon and evening. We have set up our last camp, night number seven. And tomorrow we're gonna hike out the last few miles and get over and pick up my car. It's been a great trip, really awesome. It's day eight, looks like the sun came out. Let's see how, what it looks like out here. Beautiful morning. Beautiful morning to end this trip. Day eight. Final few miles back to the road. From there, it's a two or three hour road walk back to my car. But we're expecting to do two or three more miles now back to the main road. What a beautiful trip it's been. Wild, wild, wild and amazing. Just new scenery and beautiful stuff every day. A lot of unexpected beauty.